like this. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> she took the next train. Where is she, Sandy? Wingdale Station. I haven't been able to find her yet. Camp duties. Anyway, camp duties tomorrow. Of Ohio tomorrow, and all the duties of New York tomorrow. Lloyd, I'll take care of you. That's all. We are very happy to have you with us here at Camp Berkshire. Camp Berkshire has provided so many opportunities for ministry, spiritual growth and fellowship. We are very glad to see that you are coming here and you support in this ministry. Camp Berkshire has uh, offered so many opportunities for our young people, our families, and we want to improve our facilities to have a better place for relaxation, for spiritual retreat, for training and other ministries. Camp Berkshire was a state-of-the-art country club before it was ever property of the Adventist Church. With the building of the interstate highway system and the rising popularity of airplane transportation, business suffered for inland domestic vacation spots such as the Berkshire Country Club. Almost two decades after the end of the Second World War, the Berkshire Country Club was sold the newly named Camp Berkshire Grounds were purchased on April of 1963 by the Greater New York Conference under the administration of Eric Jones. And so the story begins. Dear Camper, we invite you to the thrilling adventure of camping. The excitement of living in the natural surroundings of the out of doors among friends who believe in the beautiful way of life. Camp Berkshire affords you an opportunity to enjoy the recreational program, the development of new craft skills, the fun of staying overnight in the Indian village, the joys of swimming, boating, horseback riding, good healthful food, plus songs and stories around a bright campfire. The moments of quiet meditation will bring you into the audience chamber of the creator of nature. We like you, and we pledge ourselves to assist you in achieving a camping experience that will make life more meaningful. This letter was written and signed by Youth Director P.J. Salhani and Camp Manager Jim Birdie in 1973 and still holds true today. Pastor Salhani and Jim Birdie are only two of the many hardworking leaders who have seen Camp Berkshire grow and struggle through its five decades with the Greater New York Conference. After Jim Birdie, the following individuals functioned as managers of Camp Berkshire. Lloyd Schaffenberg from 1970 to 1981, Richard Light and Jim Rogers in 82 and 83 respectively, Jeff Marshall in 87 and 88, Brett Palmer in 89, James Kiefer from 1990 to 1999, Lloyd Schaffenberg once again from 2000 to 2005, Daniel Feliz in 2006 and 2007, and Hector Perez, who has been serving as camp manager since 2008. The one consistent name through the history of Camp Berkshire is Lloyd Schaffenberg who with his leadership and hard work represents one of the big reasons why we have come so far. This year we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of Camp Berkshire and perhaps I'm kind of a unique person to talk about it because the first summer I worked at Camp Berkshire as a student was in uh, 1965. So I've been around for much of that 50 year history, uh, being there as a student staff member later as a pastor in the conference, uh, then later as camp manager and youth director, then uh, just a pastor again, committee member, managing again, and now in the corporation office, uh, helping oversee some of the development projects. It's been great to see all the ministries that have taken place over the last 50 years. Uh, many people coming to know Jesus, uh, seeing facilities uh, improve, particularly the last few years after a decline for many years. Uh, the new pool, the bathhouse, the uh, renovations of Minnesota and Montana, and the plans for other things to come. And so we 
really want to take this celebration of the 50th year to increase the awareness of the ministries available at Camp Berkshire, the facilities we have there, and to encourage each one to be a part of making it to be even a better place for a service to God and mankind. The Berkshire campgrounds have seen many changes since the early years and remain a blessing and haven for those in New York City, as well as those from surrounding areas. The changes that are being brought about in Camp Berkshire are quite exciting. Our conference leaders are doing a remarkable job at giving Camp Berkshire a facelift. There are numerous exciting projects ahead. These include a complete renovation of Camp Berkshire's entrances, a new playground for children, continuing renovations in the multiple cabins around camp, the very exciting wellness center project. We are planning to have a wellness center here at Camp Berkshire. Uh, starting uh, very soon, we are planning to offer opportunity to um, grow in this area of health. The wellness center is uh, a tremendous opportunity for you to learn more about how to take care of your body and how to improve your health. Camp Berkshire is an opportunity also for training. We want to take advantage of this beautiful environment and offer our churches and uh, small group ministries and any department that wants to have a training here at Camp Berkshire. This is a tremendous opportunity that the church has on this uh, beautiful property. We hope that you can take advantage of this beautiful property and may all that is done here in this camp Bring honor and glory to our God. As we celebrate the 50th anniversary, we are asking you to do your best to contribute to its future development. Thank you so much for being here. We want to thank the former managers and we think of people like uh, Brother Hector Perez who has made such tremendous contribution. We think of people like Dr. Gerson Santos and, uh, and Pastor Lloyd Schaffenberg and, and others who have made great sacrifices and place much effort in the development of this beautiful place. It has been a great five decades, and as we put them in our rearview mirror, we must remember, Camp Berkshire has witnessed many ups and downs, but this story continues to be written. We pray for another 50 years of progress and spiritual growth. It starts today. Let's make Camp Berkshire a better place. Every time we're here, we're one step closer to heaven. This is our place to meet God in nature.